Hello and welcome back to the Old Gold and Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Rice and thank you for joining me for this preview for the Hull City game tomorrow night. Wolves face another tough test after a long trip tomorrow it's up to Hull. While you're on the way to the capital of culture for 2017, why not listen to some beautiful South, check out the cream-coloured phone boxes and enjoy the views from the Humber Bridge. Leonid Slutsky enjoyed his first home game as Hull manager, winning 4-1 against... Burton on Saturday. He did say as well he knows his name's funny, but there are worse names out there. Yuri Zhurkov. We're looking at you. Hull have gone through massive changes over the last couple of years since getting promoted to the Premier League under Steve Bruce. They've since had Mike Phelan, Marco Silva and now Leonid Slutsky in charge as well. Massive change in playing personnel as well. So it's going to be interesting to see how Hull fare this season. Lots of people expecting them to be sort of around the playoffs, not blowing away the league. Not struggling like we expect Sunderland to do. It's going to be really interesting to see because they did play quite well against Villa. They played quite well against a poor Burton team. So for them, we are their first real tests. But also, as a Wolves fan, a team just getting relegated from the Premier League and going to their place is going to be a difficult game. Wolves are going to have to play really, really well to come away with three points again. Play to look out for for Wolves tomorrow is Abel Hernandez, who scored a hat-trick at the weekend. The Wolves defence have already seen off the likes of Britta Sombolonga and Chris Martin this season, who are two of the top strikers in the division. So will it be a chance for us to see off another one? I expect Wolves to remain largely unchanged. I could see Miranda dropping out, only due to fitness. There's a lot of games in this month, although I don't imagine he will play in the League Cup match next week against Southampton, tickets for which are on sale now. But possibly he's one that could drop out of that defence. I also think that Cavaliero is going to come into the team in some capacity. Whether he'll replace Bright Denebacari on the wing or will he replace Bonatini in a more central role? It'd be interesting to see and I want to find out what you think about that in the comments as well. And to wrap up then, the Fantasy Football League has started and the team in the lead are Cruise Control, managed by Paul Smith with a massive 90 points over the weekend. So fantastic performance from him. Some other good performances as well up the top of the table. I'm biding my time. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So, you know, I'm in 73rd place at the moment, hoping to pick up a few points as the season goes along. Now, last season, if you were subscribed to this channel, you would know that I did a few match day vlogs. I'm not doing those this season because they were too much faff and I personally didn't get much enjoyment out of them. But if you do want to see some highlights and clips from the games, then you can add me on Snapchat and have a look at my snorries. Story, uh, which is Tom Rouse 456 there's a link in my channel. Um, and that's all for today, thank you very much for watching, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, there'll be a review of the game up on Wednesday morning, make sure you tune in then, see you soon, bye bye.